Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I picked up the last mail for the week, so I decided to put a, a little video together with all the pickups that I had in the last week or so. So a lot of it has just been picking up different little pieces for the collection. Obviously I've had some box breaks recently, so some of those videos have been on the channel. And I'm going to show off a couple of new Medano cards and a couple of other cards from my different collections that I've picked up. So first of all, I'll start off with uh, football. So picked up a Devontae Adams uh, Spectra rookie card. I uh, picked this up on uh, COMC. So... This one's number two, uh, 149. So it's a nice, uh, it, was a, it was actually a lot less expensive just picking it up on COMC with the combined shipping with other items that made it a lot less expensive. So next item comes from eBay. So I picked up a uh, Jamie Ben uh, Collector's Choice Rookie. Not an expensive card at all. Uh, it was actually kind of tough finding ones that were a decent price with shipping because the shipping price have really skyrocketed if you're in Canada trying to get anything from the U.S., anything outside of the country. But uh, this Jamie Ben rookie goes with my other rookie cards. Really, I'm trying to put together just the rookie cards themselves. And I'm only missing a handful, and that was one of them, even though it's one of the less expensive ones. Sticking with Jamie Ben as a theme, I've got this uh, UD Black Pro Penmanship. So just trying to make sure I can get this on an angle where you can see okay. So this one is uh, the Spectra version. So this is out of 25 right there. Nice, nice, nice cards, and I am already, I've mentioned before that I'm a fan of the UD Black design in general and the different autographs they have. This one actually came, um, I think the book, uh, the book value on this is about $150, and it was there on COMC for $20. So I picked this one up actually with the Devontae Adams, so it was a good uh, combo on that one uh, mail, mail package. So next is for the Medano collection. So as I mentioned in the other video, and by the way, I'm going to put a link in the... Uh, Link in the corner to the Medano collection video. So this one goes as part of that. Adding to the collection here, so we've got a number patch Medano from Superlative. So this one here is numbered to nine. So it's a silver version, nine of nine, so jersey number as well. I like the superlative car. It's nice, simple design, clean with the autograph. The only thing that I think is not going to age very well, and I don't know if you can kind of make it out here a little bit, but um, they put a little their own little in-the-game sticker, which is fine. But as the, the top loader gets a little bit older, these any dirt that gets in there, eventually at some point I'm probably going to have to take it out of there and put it like in a one-touch. For now, I'm going to leave it since this is the way it came out of the out of the pack with it. Nice clean autograph, patch jersey out of nine. Pretty good card. Now I'm going to move on to even rarer. So this is a first for myself. This is uh, not the first one-on-one -on -one I had from Medano, but the first printing plate I've ever picked up. So I thought if I was going to grab a printing plate, I may as well get an autograph printing plate. So this is from 2014-2015. Uh, in the game Ultimate Memorabilia is the 14th edition. So Ultimate Honors Print Plate Auto Magenta. Uh, so Medano and obviously a 101. So you can see on the back here as well. They put the uh, little sticker explaining everything, including the number itself on there. Um, print plates are pretty basic. So this is from when in the game basically became Leaf. So I don't remember too much of the history. I remember when they were in the game initially, then they lost their license, and then they became Leaf for a while. And I'm not sure what the status is of the company today. But cards like this are kind of neat. Uh, really, it's just a printing plate with a um, with the autograph sticker on it. But still, this is the first printing plate that I have from Medano, and the first autograph printing plate, obviously. So I thought that would be a good one to add as a different variety for the collection. So with that, I've got one card left. So what would I do that I would put after a one-on-one, -on -one, one of one printing plate? Well, in this case, it's from UD Black as well. So this is the Dual Game Night Ticket Autograph. This is a dual autograph with Mike Medano and Martin Berdur. And really, this is where that UD Black design comes into play again. Really, really nice card. So this one here is numbered 25, so 10 of 25, you can see there. Not the rarest card, obviously. Not even the rarest card of the Medanos that I picked up during this, uh, during this uh, recent pickup video. But the truth is, like, that design... Uh, the, bl the darker background of the little ticket with a uh, gold uh, ink pen for both players. It really, really pops, especially when you get it in the right light and you can see how reflective it is. But if you look at it, the contrast is perfect, especially for an autograph like that. So I think, from what I understand, this was actually an exchange card. So this isn't even booked in the... Uh, when I look up in the online guide, I can't even find a price for it. But I picked it up for about 66 US on eBay. Uh, shipped, so I'm not complaining at all. And for two Hall of Famers, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good pickup. So that concludes my mail day pickups for this week. I don't know if this is, I'm going to make this a regular feature of the channel, but I thought this mail week turned out really nice and some really cool cards that I enjoyed adding to my collection. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to show those off a little bit. It'll kind of vary from week to week, and at the same time, uh, Canada Post apparently is threatening to strike if they don't uh, get anything, 
if they don't get what they're asking for in the next week or so. So I might not have a mail day in the upcoming. I did order another uh, box actually of Unparalleled. So depending on when uh, when I receive it and when I get to record the video, that may be on the channel in the next couple of weeks. And I do have another box break that I already recorded that I'm actually going to be showing on the channel. Probably if you're seeing this on Sunday, which is my hope, then probably by Tuesday or Wednesday next week, that video will be up as well. It's going to be a little different format than the box breaks I've been doing because I record because I recorded it earlier and lost the audio. But that's all I'm going to say about that for now. I'll talk more about about it during that video. So anyway, thanks again for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them, and I'd be happy to respond. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.